guys, welcome back to TechDose and in this video we will look at counting words with a given prefix problem which is from lead code number 2185. We will look at an interesting follow up problem at the end of the video and we will solve it with an optimal approach. So stay tuned till the end. Now let's re read the problem statement. In this problem you are given an array of string words and a string prefix. Return the number of string in words that contain prefix as a prefix, right? A prefix of a string S is any leading contiguous substring of S. Now, if we look at an example, in this case we are given certain words, four words, pay, attention, practice, attend. And the prefix is at. So we need to find out how many strings are there in words which have the same prefix as the given prefix at. So what we can do in order to solve it optimally is uh, we can just take the prefix at and we can pick a word. Let's say we have picked pay. So we will be uh, starting to match each character from the beginning. So we will match this P with A. If it is matching, then we will continue to match. But in this case, it is not matching. So I will skip this word. There is no prefix at in the first word. Now I'll, I'll be going to the second word. In the second word, I'll be matching this first character A with the first character in the prefix, which is A. Since they both are matching, I will be moving to the next character in both the string. Now T will be matched against T and again they are matching. So I'll be moving them both forward. Now, since I'm done with all the characters in the prefix, that means the entire prefix is present in this particular word, which is word number one. And that is why uh, we can do a count plus one for this case right so initially i will be initializing a count value equals to zero and as soon as we find a prefix matching with the word i will do count plus plus now i will be going to the next word so in this case the first character p is not matching with a so i need to skip this now i will be going to the last word in this case again i will be matching it with at so a and the first a is matching if you match it with t again the second t is matching and uh, we are done with all the prefix characters so that means the entire prefix is present in this third word, word number three. This was zero and this was two. So we have the prefix present in this word number three. So we will do count plus plus. And that is how we can do the match and we will get the count as two, right? Now, is this approach optimal approach? Well, this approach is definitely optimal because we are doing everything in linear time. So if you look at the constraints, the constraint here says that our word length is 100 and uh, each of the words are also 100 length and the prefix can be maximum 100 length. So if you match the prefix of length 100 with 100 words where each of the word can be of length 100, then you will get a total number of 10 to the power 6 operations which is less than 10 to the power of 8. So definitely this is going to pass and this is actually an optimal approach. Well, you might think that the try can be optimal but the try will not improve anything in the time complexity. You have to insert all these words into the try and build a try, which will require you order of number of words into the length of each word, which will be 10 to the power 4 computations. And after having done that, we have to search this into this try. So this is not going to improve our time complexity. For just doing one prefix search, we have to build the entire try every time the new input is coming right so having seen this approach let's now look at the code before we look at the follow-up so in this particular uh, solution you can see that the words and prefix are given so we need to iterate over all the words one by one and we will be initializing the count equals to zero i will be saying that my prefix is a match by default and i will try to match each and every character of the prefix until we go to the end of string okay and if it is not matching, if the current character in word is not matching with the current character in prefix, then I will set is prefix equals to false and I will break out of the inner loop. And when I come out, then I will be checking if is prefix is true. If it is true, then I will do count plus plus saying that uh, the word actually has the given prefix. Otherwise, we will not increment and go to the next word and, and continue. So after the loop has ended, we will have the count of all the words where the prefix is present so this was the main problem but what if i say that i will change this question to saying uh, i have a bunch of words and now i will be having multiple prefixes not just one prefix so i will have a maybe i will have pra and i will have many such prefix words right so the prefix is actually an array and i have to find out 
the count for every prefix in this words okay count uh, count the number of words which are having the prefix as i as the as their own prefix and now this prefix at 0 will be this at prefix at 1 will be at pra right so something like this we want to solve so this now becomes a query type problem and now solving it with the simple approach will not be efficient and we need to solve it by try so let's now look at the follow up question and this solution so in this particular case i will be taking five words ball baller balls bing and act and i'll be taking uh, i mean a bunch of prefixes so i have taken just two prefix ball and b and my goal is to count the number of words in which the given prefix is present and return the entire array as an answer so first thing which i will be doing is i will be building the try now if you don't know about try then i have already made a lot of videos on try so you can click on the i button and also check out the link in the description below you will find all the uh, try concept videos okay so if you are not a beginner then we can go ahead and build a try so try always have a root node yes we will be having a root node and we will be maintaining a prefix counter the prefix counter will tell how many prefixes have occurred with the given character so if i have to insert ball then in the ball first b will be inserted so prefix counter will become one here and a b will get inserted right and then the prefix counter here will become one a will be inserted the prefix counter will become one the prefix counter says that how many prefixes have occurred like the prefix counter equals to one at this a currently is denoting that there is one word with the prefix ba okay now i will be inserting everything so let's insert b a double l so the prefix counter remains to be one now once we are done with this option uh, then let's go with the next word which is baller so again i will be starting at the root node and i will be increasing the prefix counter equals to 2 the prefix counter equals to 2 at the root node means that we have inserted two words okay now let's insert baller so b is already present a is present so when it is present i will be incrementing the prefix count value the l is present the the l is present and now you have another er so we will be inserting e with the prefix count equals to 1 and r with the prefix count equals to 1 so we have inserted baller now let's insert balls now in this case uh again we will be starting right from the beginning and we will be making prefix counter equals to 3 saying that we have now inserted three words now b is present so increment the prefix count a is present increment the prefix count and then uh, l is present increment prefix count l is present increment prefix count the last character is s so we have to insert s so let's insert s here and here we have prefix count equals to 1 so we are done with balls as well now uh, we can move ahead and insert this bing so i'll again start from the beginning and increment prefix counter equals to 4 so this means we have inserted four ca uh, four words so we can go with b make it 4 i so this is the first entry so make it 1 then uh, we will have n and you can make the prefix counter equals to 1 and then you have g you can make prefix counter equals to 1 right so prefix counter equals to 1 at n means that we only have one uh, word with the prefix b i n okay now act so if you start with the root node you can make it 5 saying that we have inserted five words now so act a will come here because a is not present currently the prefix counter will be equals to 1 c the prefix counter will be equals to 1 t the prefix counter will be equals to 1 and we are done now if i solve the query let's say we are solving the query for ball so we just have to start at the root node and traverse for this ball so if we traverse b a double l right and we stop here what is the prefix count it is 3 that means there are three words with the prefix ball and you can check there are exactly three words right so i'll be building a result saying that there are three words with the prefix ball again if i have b then i can just traverse from the root node to b and see the prefix count so there are four words which are starting with b and you can check out there are four words right so i will be inserting four so this is how if there are q number of words in the prefix then i can actually calculate each of them in just linear time by traversing over the entire string 
along with the traversal over the tri which will exactly be of the string length whatever is present in the prefix right so considering that uh, you have n number of words here so total words here are n and each of the word length is let's say k like all the average word length here is k and the number of prefixes are equals to q and each of them are also of the same order let's say k then in order to build this try i have to go through this all these words and go to each and every character so the building of the uh, try will take order of nk time plus uh, after having built this we will be traversing for each of these uh, prefixes and all of the prefix solutions will be linear because if i have to go and see how many words are starting with ball then i will go for each and every character and i am just doing uh, this in the order of string length time also on the try traversal right we are not applying dfs or we are not applying all possibilities therefore the time complexity will be order of nk plus qk so you can check out that the time complexity for inserting all words will be nk and after that the time complexity for searching all the prefixes will be qk and the space complexity will be nk because we are inserting all the n words of length k into the try and that is why the space will be nk so since you have already seen my try video so i will expect that the code is exactly the same as i had shown in the other videos so you can code it yourself if you are someone who is looking to prepare for top product based company within a limited time of just three months then we have brought for you both the dsa and the system design live interview training program the most important feature of this program is you get a filtered and condensed structured curriculum in-depth discussion of all the topics and my guarantee of your understanding one-on-one -on -one guidance with me and live weekend classes to know more about the training you can whatsapp us on this given number.